viewers and subscribers this is bvi channel one let me just do this one very quickly um my father will always advise me i've said that before now on this platform that if you are being called a thief do not behave like one and do not be found around people who are considered thieves you see with respect to the current incoming presidency as Nigeria is supposed to have by 29th of May, talking about Tinibu and Shetima, it has been on a public glare that soon Nigeria should have a drug baron as their president and a known a known factor in terrorism as their vice president, talking about Shetima. And some videos have been trending online, which I will not certify that they are actually the terrorists you are looking after. But take a look at this. <laughs> Kanan <laughs> 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 Good. Now it has been trending. Many people had brought the, the video to me saying, Ah, look at them. It is Shetima and the Boko Haram and the bandits and the rest of them. Let me tell you, I'm not relying on this very video to say what I'm saying. But I can tell you that we knew, as reported from Borono State, that accused Shetima of being behind the banditry and terrorism happening in their state. Especially as it concerns security, you must have an enabling environment in order to do anything. So you cannot take someone that is virtually senile and another person that has been associated on several occasions with funding terrorism. That is Kasim Shatima. Kasim Shatima, we should not forget uh, uh, Kabiru, Kabiru Sokoto. Kabiru Sokoto was one of the, the, the most wanted terrorists and he was found and arrested in his house. Let us understand and let us not forget this terrorism, this banditry, this carnage is not ha just happening by mistake. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. But the bottom line is we need more resources. Given the present state of IPS, it's absolutely impossible for us to defeat the Boko Haram. A multi-billion indust dollar industry because it, 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 it takes a lot, a lot of money on defense budget. It has a lot to do with the sale of drugs. It has a lot to do with mining and illegal bunkering and illegal and illicit uh, 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 mining. And look at the areas that are, that are generally affected by this. Take the Northeast, for instance. In the Northeast, you have the blue diamond. That is a strategic mineral. You have uh, uh, oil at the Chad Basin that is being explored right now, but illegally. You have Zamfara. If you go to Zamfara, Zamfara has more gold than, than, than Ghana. Zamfara's gold is being traded in Dubai and other parts of the country. There is a market called Nigerian gold in Dubai. Go and check. 
So who is doing this mining? Most times, they are the governors, the people in power. They are the ones doing it in connivance, in connivance with foreign, foreign, foreign mercenaries. We all know all that. And we ask Nigerians, what becomes of you when you carry green passport of a country where you have the president as a drug indicted president. Now, someone that is that a drug indictment, the case on drug baron is hanging over his neck. And the man whom a known terrorist I have killed many Nigerians, we are arrested right behind his backyard. And today, we have the worst of them eyeing the Senate presidency in the name of Ojo Zokalo, an ex convict, as people will say it. That is making it a pure Wazobia terrorist, a pure Wazobia drug banditry and criminal element running the affairs of Nigeria. This is the worst trinity. Nigeria has presented in the form of government. No thanks to APC. But to you Nigerians, will you watch Akimbo and watch these men to run your affairs? It is up to you. Yes, the tribunal case is ongoing, but we know Nigeria is full of surprises. So, the only thing, as I will always say, that will mandate the Supreme Court or the Tribunal Court to do the right thing is for Nigerians to come out and show them that Nigerians are ready to defend their constitution and their democracy. It is not a crime. It is not a crime to not just protest but shut down this country by refusing to go to work by refusing to go to business by refusing to go to school. and all of you coming out in solidarity to the ongoing protest happening in Abuja of our belief in the judiciary. We have believed in the independent National Electoral Commission and we were deceived. So we are not a group of happy Nigerians. We are not a group of satisfied Nigerians. We are a group of Nigerians that have been cheated, a group of Nigerians whose right to make a choice has been denied. And we are here to say we hold the judiciary accountable put our trust in the judiciary to ensure that our collective will as a people is not truncated, that our will as the masses of Nigeria is not taken for granted. We cannot continue to remain in a cycle of evil, where after every four years, a group of criminals will use their money to either buy votes or to either pay touts or to even sometimes bribe security agents who are not loyal to their oath of office to cheat the masses with the thinking that they will tell us to go back home and we will do better next time. We are not waiting for next time to do better. Yes. We want it now. Yes. Yes. No. And that is why we are law-abiding. That is why we are within our constitutional right. That is why we are working with you, because we are here for you as much as you are here for us. We are here for the judiciary as much as they have sworn an oath to be there for us. Yes, now we don't care about any candidate, we don't care about any political party, we don't care about any individual or affiliations, we don't care about Christianity, we don't care about Islam, we only care about the sovereignty of the Nigerian state. We care about our unity as people, regardless of our religion. We care about our rights as human beings to choose or not to choose. And I often tell people, if the judiciary renders justice 
And it happens that it is a he goat that we elected on the 25th of February. Then we will welcome him and we shall celebrate him. But until our will is declared, until our mandate is given, we will be here and we will continue to protest because it is our right, Nigerian. Not just in Abuja, but it should be happening across the 36 states. Much bigger than what we witness during the end sales. I am not a promoter of breakdown of law and order. I am an advocate for good governance, which can only be achieved through the due process of law. And I can assure you that what I said is still within the ambits of the law and the constitutional right of Nigerians to fight and defend their democracy. I am also to the Peters, the advocate for good governance. And I say these things without fear. Nigerians, it's up to you because you are ultimately the victims of bad governance. Help me share this video and give Nigerian people the heads up they need. Don't forget to subscribe, drop your comment. I want to have your opinion.